Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the calming, peaceful, and gentle sounds of the West Coast. Unmistakable sound of the water down here in the West. Even although we're not on a beach where it will be gently slapping, you can hear the rolling of the rocks. Everything just sounds so peaceful and calming. Serene, serene scenes. Not doing a long start up this morning. Um, we want to start, I know, a little bit earlier on our walk and take us a little bit to the north of where we are right now. I'm not sure how many of you have guessed where we're located. I can leave that to you for a few minutes time to see if you can guess. Okay, I like to do our serenity prayer right here, looking up the west coast of the island. It is absolutely beautiful. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Just like so many places on the west coast, there are little areas, just little pockets along this coastline that looks as though time has forgotten them compared to the everywhere else around them. You know, massive villas, big complexes, etc. And we could still find our little shuttle home located on the west coast. Still offering a quaint, beautiful Barbados with the little small rowboats and stuff. Nothing big comes out of this area. A lot of guys fish from this area on the boats and also from the beach as well. Just beautiful, beautiful scenery. Just a stunning morning here. We had a little bit of rain showers and stuff, so you would have seen I had all my protective gear. Thought I was gonna have to pull out the brawly at one time because we were getting some splatters on the camera, but that passed fairly, fairly quickly. Just to show you the transparency of the water from this elevation, um, this is some of the coral reef that is along this area here. Now, many of you that would know this area where we are, I can tell you where we are now. We're just north of Mullins uh, Beach Bar or Mullins Bay and Gibbs Bay. Um, we can look at that right now. The Mullins Beach is the first beach we're seeing. There's a little small cove in between in front of a villa. And then beyond that, um, we're going to Gibbs Bay and then around the corner will be Reeds Bay. That will give you an indication of where we are right now, or Gibbs Beach, I should say, because this whole area is Gibbs Bay. Beautiful Bombas Beach Bar located right here on the coastline. No beach, as you can see. Um, erosion has really hit this section of the island a lot. You'll see a lot of groins that are being constructed to try and capture some sand in this area, especially in these northern areas here, um, where have had a major set of um, you know erosion going on. You can see these trees here are barely making it. Don't know how long they will actually stand for. Hopefully they will stand because this is the flavor of the coastline for me, for sure. Just beautiful, beautiful Barbados and the stunning west coast of the island. All right, we make our way across this uh, area, this groin itself. I came out here to try and give you the better view up along the coastline. I didn't get as far out as I'd hoped I would have, but there's still a little very small swell running. So I didn't want to take the um, chance to go there and set up and have to run back and grab the equipment, you know, to save that, of course. Beautiful, beautiful West Coast. Now, I don't know how many of you were here maybe 30 years ago, uh, when you used to walk long stretches of beach here, no groins, just long sets of beach. But it's happened all over the island. The island has changed, all the beaches are changing all the time, but stunning. We just had a north swell here um, last week. It wasn't massive, but it certainly was enough to move around sand. So what you're seeing right now is it's trying to settle itself back. It will be a lot prettier very soon. A lot of sand would be moved offshore. It will possibly come back in and enhance this beach area. But look at the reflections. Talk about, talk about swimming in the sea of reflections. I mean, this is beautiful. The clouds are being highlighted by the sun that's rising to the east. Everything is just stunning this morning. Weather conditions, um, right where I am, no wind at all. There's a good breeze blowing um, from out of the east. Um, today is the big round the island Barbados race, which is the Mount Gay Regatta. That is happening today. Quite a few of the vessels are in on that. There's a couple of guys on wind surfboards, etc. as well. They'll be venturing to make the trip around the island. Um, don't know if we'll be covering that because I want to get home. I have uh, 
an appointment this afternoon at two o'clock, so I want to get home and answer all the comments and stuff this morning. But I'm sure there'll be tremendous coverage of that, very comprehensive coverage of that race. This whole week is the Monkey Sailing Week. Just beautiful. So I guess you all who have been tuned into TV, um, <laughs> I don't think there's anyone on here would not know um, that Mia Motley and her team are back in control again um, for another term. So everything remains pretty much the same. We just move forward as one unit, hopefully, um, for the betterment of this island. Hope everyone gets on board with that because if you're a Barbadian or if you're interested in Barbados, we should all have one common cause and that's to make Barbados the absolute best it possibly can be. These are challenging times now, so we need everyone on board, please. Let's just go forward and make Barbados the best it can be. Cruise ships in the distance, you're gonna make out in the horizon. Busy time of the year for Barbados, uh, British Young Port for our cruise industry. Quite a few vessels visiting here. I'm not sure how many are in the port this morning. I took the inland route to get over here, which is coming on the ABC Highway. Um, there is some sargasm on the south coast, and therefore, that's why we've mainly avoided that section this morning. We also have another reason for that, but I want to come up west because I want to come down where it's just calming and relaxing and peaceful. mirror like conditions a few days ago the guys were down here surfing all around this area where we are i'll point out a couple of breaks as we're making our way over to the north just lovely now a little while ago i don't know if you checked if you checked back in the vlog that we did last time we were down here this whole beach here was uh was topped with man-made sand um this entire area here in front of this villa this uh where we're walking right now where the rocks are was all man-made sand that's crushed coral stone and then it was dropped on this beach here. But the big swell, as you can see, has moved it all around. I was just talking to a gentleman here. He said, my, all move north here. So, <laughs> pretty much the words that he had said to me. Just beautiful. So you see a multitude of grinds in this area trying to save the sand, trying to capture the sand. Um, right along here, right down almost to Almond Beach Village. Or right, actually to where Almond Beach Village used to be Haywards. Uh, bay and Six Men's Bay, groins all over, right up the west coast, the whole town as well. You've seen quite a few of them as we were on our routes over the beaches. But these have all tried to save these beaches, which are pretty much nil and void before they dropped these here, actually. There were just little slithers of beach all around here at low tide, high tide. You would have walked in some water to get around these points. So it has a help, but you can see this is the sand here. It's very coarse, um, very coarse sand, not like the west coast at all. This is the ground up sand. You can have a look and see some of this here is also some of it mixed in from the west coast as well but there's a lot of sand that has shifted from just where we were just now to down here this is all going to blend in uh, if you've been up by matzo by the seabreeze hotel similar thing they put down a, a massive amount of man-made sand and it's now looking all natural it's all blended in with the natural sand beautiful beautiful beach talk about big villas massive villas down here so calm and peaceful i'm going to walk for a couple of seconds and let you hear exactly what i'm experiencing just so you can understand how peaceful down here in the west coast is it is beautiful here we go All right, I mentioned this morning that I had a little exciting news for you. I know some of you know already because my care team has been um, in discussions around the round table for a little while now. Um, but we'd just like to notify you that tomorrow we are celebrating one year of live broadcast. I thought the first one was at Hilton, but checking back, I realized the first one was actually at Acre Beach. That was our first live broadcast where we went on to Facebook Live. And then um, our first sunrise was actually at the Hilton on the 25th, but we are dealing with the 21st as being our first official day. So we'll be celebrating a year tomorrow. 
And what my care team and myself have decided is, is that we are the ones on the island that is, and also the ones overseas have had their input. Um, we are going to have a beach walk on Carlisle Bay tomorrow. Um, anyone that's on the island, whether you're in the care team, whether you're just an EMC member, even if you're not an EMC member and you would like to walk with us, please join us tomorrow at Carlisle Bay. We'll be park parking by the government buildings um, for around 6 o'clock. And we're going to start that walk around 6.15, 6.30 or somewhere in that kind of time frame. You know, we're never too accurate on things. Sometimes we're early, sometimes we're late. But any of you that are able to come and walk with us, we would like to welcome you into the EMC family tomorrow morning, officially, personally and physically. So hopefully some of you will come and join. I know there are quite a few visitors on the island um, and there are a lot of long time Bajans here, part time Bajans we like to refer to it as. I don't know how many of you have vehicles, um, but if you do have a vehicle, this is your opportunity to come and meet some of us that you have never met before. Um, I know, as I said, there are quite a few people on the island. Don't know how many will turn up. Um, we are recommending also that you bring your cooler and maybe a couple of sandwiches or something because after, uh, we're not really going to have a big walk because not, <laughs> not, that's not what it's going to be about. It's going to be sort of like a mingling walk, but on the biggest beach in the island or probably the biggest beach in the island in the best of sea conditions. There was some sargasm there yesterday, but not enough to affect what, um, to have an impact on what we're going to be doing um, tomorrow morning. So hopefully some of you will come and join us there. As I said, you know, just bring your own stuff. The only thing that we're going to bring are ourselves. So you bring yourself as well and you bring anything that you're going to need. We're not going to be staying. I don't know how, but some people may stay on for the entire day, but uh, we're not, I don't know how long we'll be staying. It might be just a few minutes. It might be a couple of hours. Who knows? It's going to, we're going to go as it, as it comes to us. We will enjoy the day. So yesterday and the day before, we would have had surf, not yesterday, sorry, um, I would say about two, three days ago, we would have had surf all along down here, a place called the Fort. I used to call it Sandridge Right, but the correct name for it, I've been informed by one of our very uh, knowledgeable EMC members, Malcolm, that the correct terminology or the correct name for this surf break down here is called the Fort. I used to call her the Sandridge Right, and then the other side would have been the Cobbler's Cove Left. <laughs> I'm not too sure what other people would call it, but I knew how to get here and I knew how to surf it. I had a wonderful time. Just to give you an idea of the size of these sprawling complexes down here. You know, we said that time stood still. We were just out in front of a little small shadow home, and this is what we find on this side here. Beautiful. Just stunning. All right, where's Sandridge? We refer to Sandridge Beach at one time. It's now St. Peter's Bay. I'll show you that in a couple of seconds time. Again, this was a long stretch of beach and it was bordered by coconut trees for the whole length. Still have some coconut trees there, but not nearly as many as they used to have. Um, but the beach, as I said, had was a lot, lot longer than this here. It was uninterrupted beach. You didn't have to walk around points or go over groins, etc. But that has changed. Just like everything else in life has changed, that has also changed. Just beautiful, beautiful. If you're looking for, if you're a sea glass hunter, anywhere between here and what we know as Tropicana, and some of y'all call Thunder Bay, um, you can find lots of sea glass on this section. You can find it on any west coast actually, but this is a real area. Right now you don't see any of it because we've, as I said, we've had a lot of movement of sand recently. Um, so it's probably not under the sand itself, but sea glass over here is an area you can really get it. What beautiful little coves. I remember the first time after they dropped these groins that they came out here, I actually brought my angel with me because it was just around that time that they had done this. And when we came around that corner to the north of where, well, where we are now, north of where we are, and I saw these coves, I fell in love with here. The peacefulness, the calmness of it, it's just absolutely beautiful. So we're going to use this as one of our EMC photo opportunities. So enjoy this for a few seconds. I am sure you just felt that peace. I'm sure that your eyes have just lit up with the beauty that out here is. Absolutely stunning views.
which is St. Peter's Bay here. Um, there is a walkway that comes through just through this section here. It actually comes on what looks like a road. Um, so you wouldn't be able to park in here. So it's very difficult to find parking here, but you can walk right through this thoroughfare beach. All right, it is time for a dip. And I'm definitely going to be going into it because although, although it's a cool morning, it's very humid. Notice I didn't say chilly morning. I had to pawn my hat coming over the road this morning. Tell you the truth, I, I didn't pawn a shirt, of course. And I had all the windows open as per normal. But I pawn a hat. I remember my angel was telling me yesterday when I saw her in her tam, she said, well, you know, I just want to keep my head warm and then the rest of your body will warm up. So I thought, well, I'll try that this morning with my, with my hat, with my Barbados hat, just to keep myself warm because it was a little bit chilly. No doubt about that, the wind this morning was brisk and uh, you know, it's coming over the road at a good clip. It's an 80 kilometer highway. I'm not going to tell you any faster than that because this is a public media. <laughs> I did 80 kilometers on the, right on the nose coming over. What a beautiful morning. Still have the moon up full, completely full. Not full moon today, but completely full still. Very visible. Just beautiful. I am going to take you on a 360 water skim. Here we go. Now, if I went any slower than that, you would have to come and wake me up. Let me tell you, I just gave you all probably the slowest 360 we have ever done. So that is an EMC slow record. <laughs> so, I know how my promotional uh, manager likes to always name everything. So we can call that our, yeah, you know already. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that up to my promotional manager. She can give you all the actual name for that for sure. She's gonna tag that shortly and I know she will. Beautiful, beautiful morning. I do not know if there's anyone this to tell. I'm still trying to understand if there is someone in Sitao, which I'm sure there is. Why nobody is out there looking out this morning? I don't know if everybody was watching TV until the wee hours, but no one around. What peace and quiet. This is what the EMC is all about. And this is why we started ready for the mornings because we want to find peace and quiet. And we have done so every morning when we go out, no matter where we've been on the island, the 166 square miles, we have always found peace and quiet. Look at these conditions. This is like liquid glass. Stunning. Just beautiful. All right, so we got to get into it. Actually, you know what? Before I go in, before I come out of the sea, before I come out of the sea, let me let you all see that I am not videotaping from anyone but myself. And look at the water, man. It is beautiful. Let me explain to you what the water feels like this morning. Slightly chilly. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry for you people up north, but this is this is Barbados chilly. Uh, not really cold. It's actually very refreshing water this morning. It feels clean. You know, when it's clean, it feels soft and and gentle. It doesn't. It, it's just beautiful, beautiful conditions out here. Uh, you know, the air is lovely. It's about the same. I would say the air is a little bit warmer than the water this morning at this present time. Just a little bit, very very little bit. Um, but it is beautiful out here. You see, as I said, it's calming, it's massaging, it's relaxing, it's absolutely beautiful. I know that many of you would like to be here right now with me and one of these days, hopefully, maybe tomorrow, some of you will actually do it, be doing exactly that. And that would be a great, great thing for us all for sure. All right now I've got the camera direction sorted out. 
we can go now. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I crave a little publicity, a little stardom. So I will keep the camera on me a little longer than usual. Um, but you know, I, I usually don't tell people about that. I usually try and keep it, uh, you know, quiet and on the down low. But uh, this morning, I try and caution to you in. <laughs> Is this not just beautiful? No matter where you look this morning, all you're seeing is stunning tropical beauty. This is typical West Coast conditions. Calm, no winds, water crystal clear, sea just perfect, perfect glass off conditions. The reflections, amazing. You now we're gonna make our way a little further up to the north now. Let me just collect up my rain apparatus. And let's start making a walk up. Lovely morning. All right, the fort, I mentioned before, the break call the fort comes just off of where you see the small waves that are breaking there. Not in this first, not in the second, but off the third jetty, um, third groin. That is where it breaks from and it comes right down into this bay. I actually have not surfed there since these groins have been put out, but I did. We do have a few of our EMC followers on YouTube um, that are surfers. They're not all on Facebook, but they do come on. They tell me how great the surf was where they were etc etc um, a lot of conversation goes up on youtube as well but nothing like um, facebook so i'm trying to get everyone to come over to facebook for the lives and then you watch youtube later on which is usually in a little bit better condition this is what you advocate say 4k quality deserving this is just stunning i am hoping that facebook is giving us at least 720 today we've been only getting like 540s over the last couple of weeks uh, I know the signal strength is strong enough here. I did all kind of signal checks. I did the pinging, etc. And we should be getting the best that Facebook can offer. And hopefully they will offer us the 720 today. I did write to them and ask them to give us an offer of a 1080. But, you know, I'm one of the million people that have probably written them and requested something. So they're probably not bearing me any mind. Just a beautiful resort. I remember when this was built, I was saying, like, what is this design? <laughs> this is certainly not the typical barbados design i don't even know if there's a mediterranean design i'm not that well traveled or that well versed on buildings and stuff but definitely not what i would have expected to see in barbados all the arches and things however now that all the trees have come up and all the landscaping has come into play it really is a beautiful beautiful resort and i can only imagine the kind of views that these folks take in i mean these are beautiful beautiful rooms all facing this ocean just stunning Again, we're not advertising anyone. We are just simply telling you what we see, and that's pretty much it. So I don't see much um, sea glass down here this morning. I do see some small pebbles and stuff on the shoreline itself, um, but I'm not seeing any sea glass. That's probably buried underneath or a little further out in the water that will get washed back in. But as I said, here, Reeds Bay, everybody that goes on catamarans would know Reeds Bay is really, really full of sea glass as well on most occasions. Right now it is not because um, we get a lot of uh, changes because of the last swell that we've had, last north swell that we had. Lovely conditions though. I'm gonna give you a photo up from the other side of this beach. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten you all. I just wanna do it from the other side so we can get the full view of this entire bay area here. So we have 42 on board right now at this present moment. Thank you to all of you all who are here. Thank you to all the others that have been on that had to go off on their own duties. You know, we have, uh, you know, we may have like streaming 42, 50 people on the live and then when we check, we have up in the 80s. Um, we know when daylight saving time changes, we're going to go back up into the hundreds. Right now, it's a little bit early for a lot of people to get up. So I thank you for your commitment and for getting up on the morning and coming to spend the morning with us. And it's not just to view Barbados, it's to share your love and your kindness, your inspiration and your motivation to everyone that's on here. That's what we do every morning. I came out this morning not feeling 100% because I have something on my mind. I've said my serenity prayer numerous times. Um, and now that I have come and started a video, as soon as I click start, everything disappeared. The journey is on. The path that I'm supposed to walk is bright for me. Nothing is going to sway me from that today, for sure. But it all started with you all helping me as well. Thank you for that. Just beautiful, beautiful. 
for those that have challenges with seeing this morning, let me paint a picture for you. We have 180 degrees of some of the glassiest, calmest waters you'll find anywhere in the world. Reflections are coming off of the white clouds in the distance, but we have quite a few different multi-layer clouds all across the water glowing in our direction, looking like pathways to the horizon. Everything is beautiful, blues, turquoises, everything is blended in just perfectly. A absolute stunning display of God's creativity and God's blessing to all of us. I know there's some folks on here that follow as well that um, have here in difficulty, you know that on our YouTube later on, closed caption will come into play. So you'll have that opportunity um, to read along as you're viewing and put the words on to, you know, what you're actually seeing here with us this morning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so I did tell you all about another EMC photo opportunity. I would like to say this is number two for the day. The amazing thing about our EMC uh, photo ops is they're moving, they're real life. You can hear it, you can see it. And some of you, I know that your memories are kicking in. You can actually smell the sea breeze down here and you can sense the water on you. I know that for sure. Most definitely you can feel the sand between your toes. It is just beautiful down here. Your brain, my brain, our brains are extremely powerful. You know, if we can merge our memories along with what we're seeing, our visions and our hearing, we can actually feel and sense what we're not surrounded by, what we're only seeing. Quite amazing. To all my friends on the South Coast, I guess you would have seen yesterday, put up some little snippets um, of the beach. We have an invasion of sargasm. It doesn't look as though it is going to be a big one because the water itself only see like off a long beach and out that side where I was viewing. I didn't actually see any out there floating. So it looks as though it's all on shore right now. Um, nothing like what we have had in the past, but an unexpected gift, I guess. I, it, everything has to be looked upon for a reason. So I'd have to say it's an unexpected gift at this time of the year. Um, Carlisle Bay also had some as well, um, but most of it has moved from what I saw yesterday. And then for the low tide, um, the high tide is carrying it right up high on the sand. Um, so you have plenty of beach and everything to walk around on. Um, hopefully today will be a better day as well with that. We're not going to go too much further. We're just going to run this bend here to where we start to see down into Schooner Bay, etc. Um, just to show you what the view looks like from over here. Beautiful. So if you are surfing the fort, you're taking off just here, but you're taking off 30, 30 yards or more outside of that. And you're working your way right down on one of the better faster and hollower rights in the island. It is very, very shallow though. So if you're not sure of what you're doing, just be wary and just be careful. Just beautiful Barbados. I can't, I, I've used every word that I can think to describe it and I still feel as though I'm not doing it justice because it is that beautiful. It is stunning. It is spectacular. It's breathtaking. Uh, but most of all, it's peaceful and serene. You know, this morning I talked to an old gentleman here, no one that I know. I spent about five minutes chatting with him just because, it, you know, it was just nice to stand and talk to someone that you don't even know and spend a few minutes with. It's just so beautiful. We're looking right down now to the Arawak cement plant or what we call the Arawak cement plant. Old name, of course. Um, just before that, you will see my boat out there, my little small dinghy. That's the white one. I have already scolded the captain on that, but he's asked me to please allow him to come in because he wants to be able to come on shore as well. He doesn't like to be moored off the beach. Um, it's a good thing I didn't bring my real, my real bigger one, the bigger one, or a slightly bigger one, maybe one or 200 feet long, um, because I, I didn't want to bring that down here because it'd be a little difficult to get into, uh, you know, by Port St. Charles where I have my villas. So I just want to make sure that we could actually get in. But anyhow, I'm going to talk to him later on. Um, you know, I'm in a good mood right now. I am in a giving mood. So I have no problem with that. All this area has been built for us to walk around uh, the beach, as you can see, nil and void. Just a few boulders here with a few captured sand in it that make you, make, make you feel that 
there's a beach there as well, you know, a beach here at all at high tide. Um, if these boulders were not here, the sand would not be trapped, that's for sure. I remember before they actually laid these off and before they expanded out these groins and stuff, this beach had gone. Basically just a little slither at high tide. Beautiful conditions. Now we talked about the fort just now, which is just behind us. That was the right break. The left break comes off of this jetty here and breaks into Cobbler's Cove itself. Um, this is another fast break as well. Not surfed that often nowadays, but when I was um, surfing in my early 20s, uh, out here was very, very popular, along with Miramara, which is still fairly popular, and that's sung by the Glitter Bay Royal Pavilion area. Now you can see these are some serious stainless steel points here. I don't feel that yeah, they're pretty sharp actually. Yeah, definitely pretty sharp. You don't want me messing with them. So we will really leave that property to alone today, Mr. Conductor. We're not going to go and have a peep over that wall, that's for sure. Now I don't know how many of you remember down here, but there was a massive, massive match nail tree just right here by where you see a small coconut tree that's been planted. That came down in the hurricane last year. Um, that, that was all across here. You couldn't even walk through this path here. They had to just break it all down and move it from here. So this area is starting to beautify it all over again. I remember this gentleman in the hat, talked to him last time we were out here. Cobbler's Cove, I know my sister and my cousin, they were remembering some, some time they've spent here recently. Beautiful. Last time we were down here, we did Schooner Bay. We came up in front of Cobbler's Cove and we worked our way right down into Schooner Bay, etc. So you can see where Schooner Bay is, it's directly in front of us. That has now been renamed because of the spalling complex that you're seeing directly in the center of the screen. Um, that is the actual Schooner Bay itself. At the very point there, point of land is where they used to have the cannon, etc. Well, that's all been, um, you know, just gone into the sea now. Everything is in the water right now. But beautiful, beautiful. Right now, the conditions, mid tide, I think low tide is around 11 o'clock. So, this is about mid tide conditions. So, you would know these beaches are going to be quite wide later on today. Um, there's no swell running. It is just absolutely perfect. The breeze right now is coming out of the northeast. I can feel it. It is right in my face. It is cooling. It is beautiful. Just a lovely, lovely morning in Barbados. For those of you that are on the rock, welcome to paradise, welcome to heaven, welcome home. Because a lot of you think of this as being your home. Because you spend actually two to three months here every year for many, many years now. For all of you that would like to be here, that are unable to be here right now because of concerns of flights, not being able to fly, um, linking uh, connections and stuff that are not functioning right now. I can only say that Barbados doesn't spoil. It is not a fruit and it's not food. Barbados gets better and better. It changes. It changes like everything else. It changes like you and me. Every year we look a little bit different. Sometimes every day we look a little bit different. But that's how Barbados will be. It will change. But it will always remain beautiful because this is a blessed country. This is a God blessed country. And we have an amazing 166 square miles. Amazing. Amazing. I am so blessed to be here with you all. You know, this breeze right now strong it is out in north it is cool cool it is like a different day from coming around the corner where we just were to where we are feels like a different place and that's how it is all over the coastline of this island no matter where you go just a hundred yards a kilometer can make a difference you can go on one beach then you could drive a kilometer get out on the next beach say wait we're in the same country i can't believe it it's that much change and as for the coast from one coast to the other drastic changes all for the better Whatever you're looking for, you can find here in Barbados, whether it is on land, whether it's on the coastline, or whether it's in the sea. All the activities that are offered anywhere else in the world are here. And without a doubt, as you can see, some of the most beautiful sceneries you can ever imagine. So for everyone that's on this morning, thank you for joining the EMC care team, the Munch Kings, myself, and all of the other EMC members. Thank you for bringing this morning, um, you know, with cheer and joy and happiness. Thank you for being here. Thank you for just offering your presence and your companionship. It is greatly appreciated. You know, we don't take anything for granted. You know, we don't take life for granted for sure. You know, so every morning we can wake up and we can come and see beauty like this here together and talk to each other and share our love. Well, we have to give God thanks. Be grateful for what we have. No matter what we think we should have or what we would like to have. Don't worry about that. <laughs> what is to be is to be. Just be grateful for what you have. First of all, be grateful for life and then work your way from there and see how blessed you are. Have a great day everyone. I'll catch you all tomorrow. Remember, for any of you that are on island that would like to join us, 
uh, meeting time, proxy 6 a.m. by the bandstand, by the Bay Street Espionade, somewhere in that general area, well, you will see us. Come and join us. We're just going to talk a lot of nonsense, get to meet each other, and let the world see us that are here, enjoying the beauty and peace of Barbados. Have a great day, everyone. Love you all.